Hi, my name is Timothy Huynh, and I am a software engineer here with ConnectWise Control. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the bridge extension, which lets you connect to RDP and VNC sessions from Control. So to get started, first we have to download and install the MSI that basically acts as a mediator. We call this the bridge service. Uh, so from the administration panel, go to your user icon and click the download um, at bridge installer. After the MSI has downloaded, you want to put the MSI and install it on the machine that is on the same network as the RDP and VNC machines. So after you have installed the MSI, the bridge service session will show up on your list of access sessions. When you click on the bridge service, you'll see a list of connections. As this is a fresh install, there are no connections at this time. There are two ways to add connections. You can either add it manually, which allows you to specify a port and protocol pair, or you can add connections by scanning the network. Today, I'll show you how to add connections by scanning the network. When you click on scanning network, it brings up a modal. It allows you to specify the scan type. You can either use address resolution protocol or the full subnet. I'll be using full subnet for today. You can also specify the scan services. Um, we have the default RDP uh, port 3389 and VNC 5900 already set up. You can add more by clicking this button, specifying the protocol, and then adding the port. So once you're ready, hit start scan, and it will begin scanning for machines that are connected to the same network. So after you have finished scanning, you will now have a list of machines that say they have either port 3389 open or 5900. To add these connections, you want to select the machines for the relevant protocol port pair. You cannot add either at the same time. For example, I cannot add a machine from the RDP section and a machine from the BNC section. It will show an error message. So first, we're going to try to add some RDP sessions. So I'll select a few of these RDP sessions and then try to authenticate using the domain, username, and password. When you're ready to add connections, hit the red button at the bottom. This will try to authenticate for each machine that you selected. The ones that fail to authenticate will show the orange triangle. However, VNN was able to authenticate with the credentials provided. If you want to add VNC connections as well, you have to deselect all the RDP machines first and then select the VNC machines. VNC only needs a password to authenticate and connect. Once you have added all the connections, hit Save Connections and this will create sessions for each of the connections that you made. At this point, you are ready to connect using ConnectWise Control to these machines. Just double click and launch the Screen Connect client as you normally do. Thank you for joining me on this tech talk about the bridge. The bridge is an access license feature. For more information, check out our docs. Thanks.